go to the file folder select your data file and drag it to the origin software now you will see each file is open in individual workbook so here we have total three workbooks now if you take a closer look of each workbook you will see there are x-axis is a banding energy because this is the xps spectra recorded for oxygen using high resolution uh, setting and then the b column is the experimental data then this is a fitting curve which is performed by using xps peak fit software including background and there are after deconvolution i uh, see there are total two peaks in oxygen xps spectra and then the last step is the difference you can select any one of them so let's select the data uh, on the top left corner where you can see option for the plot click over plot and then it will show you the line spectra or scatter spectra so you just select the scatter and click over here so now you can see a beautiful xps spectra for the oxygen on the left hand top corner you will see number one that is layer one just double click on this one so once you double click it will open a layer content add remove group order window plots for layer one so this is a layer one right now it include data only uh, only one data that is a b uh, that's coming from 400 degree c and now if you click on the short name you can group them according to column name so this is a b column the first data is 400 degree c the second one is a 500 degree c and the last one is a 600 degree c just so click on the group so it will form a group the next step is the fitting before transferring you can select the peak plot type so if you click on this arrow uh, you can choose line scatter line symbol column and area so we'll be choosing line for this one so 400 degree c again click on this add plot arrow 500 degree c add plot arrow 600 degree c add plot arrow select all of them group it again similarly perform for the background so start from the 400 degree c and I, I keep the line one and then click on the file do the same 600 repeat it select group then is a pick p1 now here we want to choose pick p1 first so 400 keep the line then is a 500 make sure that they are in the same order like 400 500 and 600 group them again do the same for the pick p2 start from 400 500 and then 600 group them again Finish. we don't care about the difference no. click ok on the right hand side you will see uh, there is an option for the rescale uh, the shortcut case control R, just click over here and now you will see all data are overlap with each other but it's very hard to understand what is happening over here so now you can go in the bottom left corner and here you can see option for the line plot scatter plot and all those things so there is also option for stack line by y offset so just click over here just click on this data and it will open in a window plot detail if you go to the plot detail and if you click on the right hand side you will see the last option is for the offset so for initial 400 degree c the offset is zero then for 500 degree c the scattered data offset is 10,000 some plus something so for convenience I will make it 10,000 and copy it Control C you can also read the name over here and paste this value that offset value make sure the offset value is same so again 500 degree C offset 500 degree C offset 500 degree C is the offset do the same for 600 degree C if you will see here if you click on 600 degree C and see the offset it shows around 24,000 plus something so I will reduce this to 24,000 select this number and then you can go uh, to do the same thing go to 600 degree C paste it again go to 600 degree C paste this number 600 degree C paste it again and then last is the 600 degrees. paste it again apply now what I want to do is I want to change the color so for example for this one if I want to change the color 
by one symbol each color okay so i want to keep the same symbol i don't want to have different symbols so by one instead of by one i will choose none and i will choose symbol as a circle with a point say uh, three or for strength five and i don't want it to be solid so it's open and apply now it has changed symbol for all of three now i want to keep the symbol fill color no uh, symbol type symbol uh, edge color so by one but i want to have different colors so black instead of red i prefer to blue and instead of green uh, yeah i may prefer okay so this one the olive click ok and then apply again so the color has changed now go to the fitting instead of by one i just want to keep the none so the color should be same for all of three so i choose red color with the width say two apply now we can see the fitting color which is radiant color then go to the background so background i prefer to be again similar color so none uh, which color i will so i will prefer a gray color and keep on file then i will go to the pick p1 now here i want to have a filled area under the curve so if you consider normal one then if you apply and you will see how it looks it's not what we want right so we want to have inclusive broken by missing values so within the curve and apply now it's within the values but i also want to see uh, similar color for all line color, color no fill area color none okay so line color uh, i will change one and pattern if you go to the pattern fill color over here you can choose the same as the line color and click or apply if you come back to the line option again and you can see there is option for transparency because it looks so dark so i will prefer to have some transparency so that the overlapping of this two curve the p1 and p2 should be easily visible okay uh, maybe i will increase transparency to 50 okay good now i will go to do the same thing for the p2 so first thing fill area under the curve uh, inclusive broken missing group line color none none okay and then we go to the pattern this is cyan color okay color and line also need to change with the cyan color and the transparency i prefer again 43 apply so now we can see vertically stacked xpx data we, which are deconvoluted and each peak uh, is highlighted with a different color now over here you will see the the important data is only between 525 to 535 so if you just double click on this axis label and then you go to the scale and choose the scale so i'll start from 525 and go up to 538 and just apply okay this is one thing then is about line and tricks if you click on the line and tricks uh, check this box use same option for bottom and top okay uh, over here i prefer major trick to be in there are four different options in out in out or none so i will choose in i prefer in and the same for the minor trick and apply now if we go to the left because it's vertically stacked so this number has no meaning so simply i'll go to the trick labels and unshow this number okay but uh, line and tricks do the same uh, use the same option for left and right and trick will be inward or and inward and apply uh, some people choose uh, not either inward or something they just choose none so even if we select none is also fine because anyway we are not showing any scale and then we can say okay now what is y axis is a intensity so and the unit is arbitrary 
and the x axis is the binding energy unit is electron hold select this one and you can change the font size or from here so i prefer 36 the same over here maybe 28 is also good enough so 28 and select the scale bar and maybe we can change to 24 and keep its default area you can change scale to instead of 538 maybe 536 apply and uh, instead of 5 maybe choose 3 okay. Good. now if you want to change the way it appear in your research paper in your ppt uh, another way we can do is like uh, hit the f2 short hotkey on the keyboard and over here you can see the dimension so width is 10.72 i would like to reduce it to 6 and the height is 8.205 i want to increase it to 10 apply uh, even if we can keep it to 8 no problem in better form and uh, now what we can do is uh, we need to add the text for each sample right so if you just go and right click and you can add a text okay so write down so the the top one is 600 degrees here if you are confused about which sample is this one you can just double click and it will oh sorry so this is 400 degrees not the 600 degrees so it's 400 degrees here and uh, where to find degree sample uh, degree symbol so you just move your cursor and right click and go to the symbol map the shortcut key is control m and then in the symbol map you can see uh, a symbol for the uh, degree celsius insert and close so this is a 400 degree c just copy it paste again and again so we got three sample 600 and 500 similarly if you want to put more text like p1 peak p2 peak and then this is oxygen x oxygen ons so you can just this is o1 yes uh, or on the right hand side you will see an option to enable disable anti-aliasing so just click over here it will help to smooth your data and now what you can do is just Control C, copy it and paste in your PowerPoint or Word or Excel wherever you want. Uh, another way is also you can go to the file and export graph and you can choose where you want to export. For example, let's open a dialog and uh, over here you can see image type. You can change image type whatever you want. So let's say JPEG uh, file name. You can give a file name over here, the location where you want to save. And then the last option I think is very important about the DPI because usually for research paper they require a DPI of 300 to 600. So here we have an option use 300 or 600 DPI and 24 bit color and just OK and it will save to the desired location. And that's all for this video. I hope it may have helped you to improve your data presentation skills. Please do like and share. Also don't forget to press the bell icon button so that you will be updated with my new video.